Have you ever had a great idea? The difference between someone who has a great idea and an inventor is an inventor does something about it. But sometimes an inventor needs a chance. Every great idea deserves a chance. A chance. A chance. A chance to change the way we live. A chance to change. A chance to change the way we live. The way we work. And the way we play. From thousands. Thousands. From thousands. Fourteen were handpicked. Fourteen were. Fourteen were handpicked. To be developed by a team of product development experts. Each idea will be designed, engineered, branded, and sent to store shelves. Millions could be made. Millions. 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 Millions could be made. Obstacles overcome. Dreams will come true. On this season of. On this season of. On this season of. Everyday Edison's. Every great idea deserves a chance. A chance to change the way we live, the way we work, and the way we play. From thousands of ideas pitched at casting calls across the country, seven were handpicked to be developed by a team of product development experts. Each idea will be designed, engineered, branded, and sent to store shelves. And each product's inventor will play a pivotal role in the evolution of their product. Millions could be made. Obstacles overcome, dreams will come true on this season of Everyday Edison. American innovation has illuminated the path of progress for generations. A path that began right here in this very spot in Thomas Edison's invention factory in Menlo Park, New Jersey. The practical light bulb was invented right here. The phonograph, even the telephone as we know it today, was invented, tested, and perfected right in this very spot by Thomas Edison and his staff of expert product development specialists. Now these are all inventions that have made life easier and more enjoyable for millions over the years while making millions for Edison and company. But the historical timeline of American innovation since Edison's era has shown us that successful inventions often are the most simple inventions, thought up by ordinary people who've had extraordinary ideas. But in today's highly competitive, fast-paced marketplace, a great idea can't make it on its merit alone. It has to have an iconic design, be expertly engineered, protected by a patent, and boldly branded before it's ever sent to a store shelf. So our group of Everyday Edisons will come here to a modern day Menlo Park, where a contemporary team of product development experts will turn each of their great ideas into a reality. So over the course of the season, you'll get to know our inventors, see what their inventions are, and what hardships they've had to endure to make it this far. Then the unscripted product development process will begin, where you'll learn each week what it takes to take a product from being a mere concept to potentially being the next big thing on the store shelf. But before our team of product development experts could begin that process, they had to find a group of products that had big potential. And in five casting calls held across the country, more than 5,000 ideas were pitched to our judges. We're looking for a lot of things at the casting calls. First off, we're looking for a great idea. And what was the inspiration behind that idea? We're looking for the personal story behind the inventor and how this invention may change their life. We're looking for a well thought out concept. Does the product idea solve a problem? And is it the best way to solve a problem? And finally, we were looking for a product that had a large enough commercial market that if we commercialize this product, it would be financially meaningful for the inventor. My invention's called the Water Boy. It's a portable retractable uh, beverage cart. Thumbs up. There's nothing on the market like it. I think it's great. My name is Corey Loeb, and this is my invention, the dog feeding machine. And this show is all about finding great ideas and making those ideas into reality. You know, you don't even have to unload the deer. Sure. I think you've got something that could benefit a lot of people. Have you filed for any type of patent protection on your invention? This is multifunctional that you could do a lot more with it. I think you've got a very interesting idea here. I'd vote that we explore it further. Okay. Ian? I agree. Are you talking about what makes this unusual? It's a great idea. 
So from thousands, 14 were selected. Now let's meet our first group of inventors. Our first inventors, Pam, Mary, and Deborah, are three working moms on a mission. It's a mission possible, definitely. Mom is on a mission. I mean, you can't be a working mom and not be on a mission. A mission to make their mark in the skyrocketing scrapbooking industry. It's definitely a mission. We want to see it in a store. We want to see people buy it and to see other people use it the way we have envisioned it from day one. That's what we want to see. Family guys and best buddies Russ and Brent want to become kings of the chicken wing world, and they think they have just the invention to make it happen. Russ and I met several years ago, and we immediately started talking about our ideas. So we both had always kicked around certain ideas and inventions. Our inspiration for this invention was just beer and chicken wings. And sitting there, and both of us sitting there together, seeing that the bone problem was so disgusting and saying there's got to be a better way to eat chicken wings. And from there, the idea came. Our next inventor, Stan Joya, a retired New York City firefighter, is out to prove it's hip to be square. We had 50 guys assigned to that firehouse, and out of those 50 guys, I would say 40 of them knew another trade, who was an electrician, who was uh, a spackler, who was a, a, a bricklayer, who was, and I learned a little bit from each of them. Skills stand put to practical use after suffering a serious heart attack that forced him to retire from the fire department after 26 years of service. They didn't think I was going to make it at the time, but I'm still here and I'm working on my inventions and having a good old time. Wendy Hampton is a single working mom, dedicated to her daughter, and determined to battle boredom by creating her own board game. She just came to me one day and said, Mom, I'm bored. And so she's like, she went on the internet and she found things that families could do together. And one of the suggestions was a board game. And so she's like, Mom, can we do a board game? I'm like, sure. And so we got down on the floor and we just started playing. And I could not remember, even though I was spending quality time with my child, I could not remember the last time I had actually had that much fun. And it was just something that I started working on. And, uh, and eventually it grew into a passion. <laughs> Our next inventor didn't set out to make it big in the baby bag industry. She was just following her mother's intuition. And I get up in the middle of the night. I went into my son's room. And I start thinking. Thinking of a way to make life a little easier on busy moms and a little safer for little ones. It took me all week to fix the bag because every time you start and do something, you figure out something else, something else, something else. I fix it, and I took it to Vula. Vula is my daughter. And I said, Vula, fix something for you, to take Christa to Boston. And she said, Mama, you crazy. I said, Vula, that's the way I feel. If you want it, okay. If you don't, that's okay, too. So she said, she loves it. For Franklin Ramsey, one man's trash is his treasure. I don't think I could sit down and say, okay, I'm going to invent something today. I think you have to have a problem that needs solving. You know, I, I equate it to like an oyster. An oyster gets a piece of sand in his shell and he does something about it. He puts pearls around it. Our final inventor, Bill Murtaugh, is on a quest to fulfill his father's dying wish. He was, he was real, really proud of what he had, had invented. Uh, it had, his design had gone through many different stages and evolutions before he got to, to the one he was really happy with. A lot of times he did get discouraged. Discouraged after years of development and failed attempts at getting into stores, John Murtaugh, a decorated veteran and retired master sergeant from the 82nd Airborne, lost his long battle with cancer. My dad, but he's also my best friend. Determined by destiny, Bill picked up his dad's invention and ran with it.